I usually work when uh, I'm inspired to work more than anything. Um, I, I, I have to force myself to work sometimes and, and I think uh, the, the best thing is if somebody commissions me to do something because it gets me going and once I start start with something then I it uh, inspires me to do other things too. So uh, a lot of the things I, uh, that I've done is because um, because there was kind of a little bit of pressure there to, for me to create something. Well, I wish I could do it full time, but I, that's just not, not going to happen. Um, because as an artist, or I think as an artist, you um, uh, it's hard to make a living and you have to be really known or you have to um, be able to market yourself. And I think a lot of artists, I think one of their things that they can't do is market themselves. For me, with me being one of them, um, I prefer to do the art than try to sell it. Uh, if I had, and it's also a time thing. I mean, you, if, to be able to do good art, you have to have the time to do it, and also find the time to relax to do it. And um, you know, when you work a full-time job, there's very little time to relax, and you have to you have to be in a different mind frame to do art. Anything that you do, where you spend time on, where you can spend time in, you get better with it. I mean, if you, it's like. Um, you know, if you draw and you do it all the time, you get better and better with it. If you don't, if you put the pencil down and you pick it up 12 months later, you feel like this rustiness, this hesitation, and, and you don't do as well. And it's the same with painting. When I don't pick up a paintbrush in several months and I, and I start, you you it takes a few, actually a few days before you really get into that, the confidence of knowing how the paint flows and how it feels to paint. So I think the more you do it, the better you get. I've always uh, dabbled in art. I've never been really a great artist, but I've always dabbled. Um, my parents are uh, creative people in different ways. My, my father's a carpenter, my mom's a seamstress. So it was always things being created in my house. Um, uh, we were not of, uh, you know, we were not wealthy, so I uh, there were not a lot of things given to us to do art, but I was always ripping out the first page of a novel because it was a blank page to draw on. Um, this kind of sounds disgusting, but you know, my, when they made soup, I took the bone and I would carve the bone. You know, I, did, I always was found things to do to be creative. I remember my first oil painting was, uh, I think I was 17. It was something with uh, death. Uh, dandelions and fairies, something ridiculous. Um, and another piece that I remember, I did something for my dad for his birthday. I made this geisha, but I did it with fabrics. My mom used to say, "Everybody needs a uh, a wheelbarrow." It's a Dutch saying. I don't, you know, I don't know if you can really translate it to uh, English, but it basically means that everybody needs somebody to help them out. And I found that with art, that um, be recognized in art, you really have to have somebody behind you to promote you. Um, and I think for every type of art, there's somebody who likes it or dislikes it. So even if you look at the great artists, I mean, I guess you have to be dead to be really appreciated, first of all, but um, they had somebody to promote them. I mean, uh, there's some artists that I see and I think, gosh, you know, what, 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 what is so attractive about the work? And you know how did they how did they get into a gallery? And I think it's sometimes it's who you are, who you know, and where you are at what at what time in place. If you want your art to sell, you have to be able to be a salesperson or have somebody there to sell it for you. I've never had a former formal show. I had a, a viewing once at um, Barnes and Nobles in um, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a nice feeling to have your art being shown to other people and hearing people's remarks uh, about your art. I often do things uh, for other people because or because uh, it fits the decor or it's commissioned somebody wants me to paint something for them or uh, those most of the time don't feel as uh, don't have as much meaning as the things I pick choose myself. I find when I choose my own subject or if I just paint just for my pleasure it has a lot more meaning and it, uh, I think also the result is much better than when I paint for somebody else. I think everybody should follow their dream. Uh, um, if, you, if you have the talent, use it. Don't let it go, you know, go to waste. 
I think it's sad. I mean, I think that's, I hear it every day, people saying to me, oh, you have so much talent, why don't you use it? Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I think everybody should, if you have that talent, you should use it and, and see how you can use it and see how you can um, make it fit into a lifestyle where you can profit from it or make it your, your profession.